welcome to my first ever Friday studio chat. I shall be doing one of these every week. Um, just a few minutes to update you on what's happening and uh, just have a quick chat really. Before I go into what's happening with my painting, I do want to make a point of mentioning that my new podcast, which some of you will have heard me banging on about, is now available on iTunes, Google, Spotify, and anywhere else that you listen to podcasts. It's um, I've done this podcast with my friend Alice Sheridan, who's an amazing artist and a, just a lovely person. I'm really enjoying doing it. We just have a good old chat, but we, um, we cover some topics that I think are of interest to artists and to art lovers. Um, and I hope you'll give it a listen. And if you like it, I hope that you'll write us a review. I'd love you to write us a review on iTunes. It makes a big difference as to whether new people find us and to give us some stars on there as well. You just have to press a button and little, you can give us stars. Um, you can also find the podcast on my website at louisefletcherart.com backslash podcast. If you don't generally listen to podcasts, that would be the easiest way to find it. And I'd love to know what you think, uh, good or bad, drop us a comment. We are getting better as we go, um, but we really love to hear from you. And if you have a question you'd like us to answer on the podcast, of course, just let me know. Um, so what have I been up to? So it's been an interesting few weeks for me with my painting. Um, the podcast took a lot of work in the beginning, as these things do, figuring out technology, um, it's amazing to do it with Alice. She's taken on a huge amount of work because she's a talented designer as well. And so she's done the logo and all of that stuff. But still, it was work for both of us. And that took a lot of creative energy. And then um, I've also found that I've used a lot of creative energy on a course I'm developing, or which launches on Monday. It's an online course um, called Find Your Voice. It's a follow on to a course that I've just finished teaching called Find Your Joy. And I'm just taking a small group through this for the first time. And so I've been preparing for that. And that takes a lot of thought, energy. Uh, I love it. It's amazing. But it's, it's, it's taken a lot out of me. And I realized, so I was doing those two things. And then in my sp any spare time I had, I was trying to paint. And I suddenly realized that... The reason my paintings were going off track and I wasn't able to make progress with them was that I was all drained of creativity and I haven't been filling up the well at all. I've just been draining it. Um, so instead, this week of working on paintings, I've, I'm working on refilling the well a little bit. So I'm taking some time, going for some walks, um, but also doing some creative things that are not painting, just playing around uh, and seeing what happens. And, and this is so important, I think, um, and something that I often forget, as I did last week. And so um, I will show you around, give you a quick tour, and let, let you see what I've been up to, the good and the bad. So let's do that now. So this is my studio. Um, it's not a big space, but I'm so lucky to have it. This is my rather messy uh, sideboard where I keep my coffee and my books and store things under there. Um, but it is, it, I am so lucky. I feel so lucky just to have a dedicated space for myself where I don't have to clean up at the end of the evening, which I used to work on a desk in my office years ago. and always then move everything when I needed to work. Uh, this is uh, my table and what I'm working on here is I'm just, this is a sketchbook that I, you can see it's a very well used sketchbook that I use just for coming up with ideas, sketches, colour, scribbling bits of colour down and at the moment I'm playing with pieces of collage to uh, just, as I said, I'm not putting any pressure on myself to create anything at the moment, just experiment, play, and see what happens. These are all just scraps of paper. I don't like throwing anything away. So these are bits of old paintings, bits of magazines. If you live anywhere near me and you have loads of old magazines, please let me know, because I'm always on the lookout. So I'm doing bits of collage. Uh, I've also been working on in Procreate, which is an iPad app, putting together potential compositions and color combinations. Uh, that's another way for me of playing. 
Um, I've actually tidied up this polythene on my table is new. Uh, it was such a mess and I've put new polythene on here. This is a, a cart that my friend made for me. It's two tool chests, but fitted together with wood and they have casters on and it has, uh, my neighbor had a new kitchen and this is a bit of his kitchen uh, worktop that's become my uh, surface and I've put new polythene on there because that was a mess. So just tidying up sometimes. I have a sofa here that I can sit on. That is a foam mattress because this turns into a guest bedroom occasionally, even despite the mess that I've made on the walls. Look at this. How did I manage to get paint over there? Um, in that corner there is a little, well, the painting at the front, my uh, neighbor did when last year when he was 10. So that's not mine, but the other things there are all paintings that are stuck or waiting for me to come back into. Um, there's all sorts in here. Um, they're just things that need a lot doing to them or I don't really know what to do at the moment, but they will be, get come back into. I will come back into them rather. Apologies for the bad lighting in here, winter in the UK. These two big ones, I'm not sure what I'm doing with. Uh, I felt they were finished and now I'm not sure, so I went back in and did some more and I'm just gonna think about it. Um, I don't know why the lights are flickering in here because I don't have any fluorescent lights on. Um, this is a disaster in progress. This is a painting that Maybe almost finished, but I don't really like it, so that's a problem. Here, I, I'm trying to work in in landscape colours for a change, or I was last week, and I'm not sure that that was the wisest move because they just don't. I don't get along with them at all. Here are some in various stages of in progress. Um, this one just is a small companion to some large red paintings that I've done but I just worked out what I want to do with that so I do have an idea and this is what because I've taken a few days off things start to percolate um, is that one? they've stuck to each other this one the light is appalling this one I was playing with doing glazing rather than applying thick paint and I quite like some of the things in that but it's not enough it doesn't it's not really anything um so this is the all of the finished paintings are in frames now and ready to go off to the gallery but what's left are all these awkward children um I do have one under here that's finished That one there is finished and that one's ready for me to uh, varnish and put in a frame uh, but that's the only one in here this one I am quite interested in because I'm interested more in making more space in my paintings uh, they tend to be quite busy but uh, not particularly happy with how that's showing up in this one at the moment um, but the way but the way I see it is that this is all part of the creative process. I've been here so many times before um, and it can it gets quite unnerving and you end up talking to other artists saying, um, this is happening to me. Has it happened to you? But really, you know it has because you've been here before, you've done this before um, and you know that something really good always comes out of it. It's almost as though the phrase I used to somebody else the other day is something feels like it's trying to be born but you're not able to receive it yet and some of why you can't receive it I think is resisting because if you're trying to go into I'm trying to go into old ways of doing things and I need to be open to whatever the new way of doing things is and that's why the collaging and the procreate um, just and the tidying up and the not painting it's just making space for something new to come in 
So that's where I am this week. Um, thank you for listening. I shall be back next week. And if you have any questions or anything you want to ask me about not related to this or just say to me, drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. All right. I shall see you next week. Bye.